Hey everyone, uh, welcome. Ifil Art Technical Sales AC Northern Europe here. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up for BIM 360 design and actually BIM 360 docs, obviously, because it's the basis for everything. So let's, uh, let's first have a look at how this is going to work. Um, first thing you need to do is actually go into your manage.autodesk.com. And obviously, when you log in, you'll see the stuff that you have access to. Now, there's two things that I want to draw your attention to. There's first is BIM 360 design parts. But there's also, you might have noticed, something called Cloud Models for Rivet. And this one is included. So you might be wondering, what's it included in? So actually, this comes automatically with a uh, Revit subscription. So anything that has Revit subscription in it, will also have these cloud models for Revit. So cloud models essentially means, yeah, we're connecting to BIM 360, right? So what has that then got to do with BIM 360 design? So let's first explain that piece. So if I click on this, you'll see that it says this capability allows Revit users to store and access, and this is important, non-work shared models. So I get a lot of questions from people that say, well, can we use desktop connector? to save uh, models into BIM 360 docs. And the answer is, yes, you could use desktop connector. There's a couple of drawbacks to that. And the main part is that it's not optimized to upload a full-blown uh, Revit file into the cloud, whereas cloud models for Revit is indeed optimized. So I would encourage you to look at the workflow. We'll be looking at workflows as to how upload standalone Revit files, as in non-work shared models. We'll be looking at that uh, later on, but it will not be through desktop connector. It will be using this technology. And so just to be clear, this is part of Revit. This has got nothing to do with BIM 360 design, actually. This is just merely uploading files into BIM 360 docs. We can then attach BIM 360 design workflows to this, but at its core, at the basis, this is just, I've got a file in Revit, I wanna upload it to BIM 360 docs, how do I do that? So that's the cloud models for Revit piece. Uh, again, we'll show that later on. Um, so what's then BIM 360 design here? So this is the full-blown workflow where we're gonna collaborate between different uh, design teams, as in maybe architectural and structural and MEP, or maybe we're gonna split out MEP into, I don't know, HVAC, electrical, piping, plumbing, uh, up to the user really. But that's gonna support, uh, that's gonna be supported in this BIM 360 design workflow. And you'll notice there's, it's not just that sharing of, uh, of um, designs, which again, I'm going to be talking about later on. This is also allowing us to upload a file, which is indeed work shared. So this is cloud work sharing. So work sets, uh, saving to central, reload latest, all that good stuff that we know from uh, central files in Revit server and what have you. Uh, that's the exact same technology that we're using here in BIM 360 design, but then with the um, with the cloud as the main storage. So that's sort of the first step I wanna get clear here. So we've got this cloud um, workflow, cloud models for Revit, which is the basis, if you will, for non-work shared files. The second we're using work shared files or the second that whether we're using work shared files or standalone files, but we wanna communicate between different teams, we're using BIM 360 design as well as for work sharing itself. Okay, so you'll see all of this in action when, we, um, when we're actually starting to work with <coughs> Revit files. Okay, so that's the first thing. Once you've got these entitlements up and running, we can actually look at setting up BIM 360 docs and, uh, and BIM 360 design. So let's, let's do that then. Okay, so. <clears throat> so I'm now into my admin piece of BIM 360. I'm in my hub in Mia Tech Sales. And let's first start with creating a, pro a project. So let's call this BIM 360 walkthrough, maybe. Walkthrough, there we go. Walkthrough, let's get that right. BIM 360 walkthrough. Uh, doesn't really matter what we're selecting here. This is all for record keeping, obviously, and important to uh, the setup 
of uh, the project that you do this uh, um, what it relates to a warehouse or whatever so i'm just gonna pick something here again for my demo it doesn't really matter that much uh let's take i don't know uh utilities let's call it utilities construction type new construction uh let's put in some value here uh again uh, i'm in the euro zone so let's take euros one million euros contract type design bit built for instance project start date is going to be maybe today and then project end day let's uh, let's be very optimistic about this let's say next year uh, project job number all of this isn't really required we could actually add an image to this uh, put a, a project in uh, sorry a, a project address in etc uh, and let's also get the time zone right so that's gonna be uh, Brussels, for instance. There we go, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's also get Belgium in here, and that's it. Save and continue. So I've set up my project, as in it's got a name now. But what do we want to attach to it? And so as you can see, I've got entitlements to pretty much uh, everything here. But we're going to be focusing on BIM 360 design. So essentially, the first thing you need to activate is document management. I could actually copy template settings from another project. We're not going to be doing that here. Uh, I'm just going to get my name in and the company I work for. So let's say that's it. Okay, so that's going to be an admin. He can pretty much do anything. Uh, we'll talk about roles uh, later on. This is just to quickly set up a project. Uh, this could be, for instance, for an individual user who just wants to save data into the cloud. Um, so that's what we're doing here so i'm activating document management uh, i can add more admins to this uh, project uh, they'll all get an invite by email so that's all good okay project is activated the document management piece so the second aspect is then that i'm gonna activate design collaboration so this is really the bim 360 design stuff okay so if we're just gonna upload standalone files through that rivet part which is included then we could we might as well stop here and say okay document management we're uploading rivet files that's it um, again if we want to use work sharing or indeed we want to have um, work shared files into the cloud then we really need this design collaboration piece which i'm going to activate as well which is very similar to the document management piece you know so i can just go in and say this is an admin to this autodesk there we go save and so now I also have design collaboration activated. We could obviously uh, activate more entitlements if we have them. Uh, again, we're going to be focusing on BIM 360 docs and, and how to actually set up for design. So BIM 360 design. Um, so I'm going to stop here. And what you'll then see is that we're going to get this BIM 360 uh, walkthrough. So I can now click on this and we're going to be in here okay so project admin of bim 360 walkthrough i've got my first user we could actually add more users we could add more companies we can look at the services and this is actually interesting because if we go into project admin services this is where we can can configure a couple of things here so i can go into document management and look at some of the capabilities here uh, of the of the configuration um, so that's what we're going to be seeing here so we can have this, uh, these settings for issues. We can set up locations in, doc, in uh, BIM 360 docs. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. The one thing I would uh, draw your attention to or call out is this Revit, Revit Cloud Model upgrade. So as you can imagine, if we're gonna be work sharing files and if we're gonna be collaborating on different Revit files between different users, different companies, as you know, and this is basic Revit functionality, everyone, needs to be on the same version of Revit. So the second we upload Revit files into BIM 360 docs, we're sort of locking down from a collaborative aspect what version of Revit we can work on. So if I'm uploading a Revit 2020 file, it means that everyone has to work with Revit 2020 on this project. So what happens if we're going to be working on 2021 or whatever version uh, comes out later? Uh, and we still want to continue with this project. 
well then we need to upgrade those cloud models and that's exactly what we can do in this piece document management revit cloud model upgrade it's going to list us what files are in there and we can basically upgrade them uh, automatically without ever having to open revit it's going to update to that version of revit we install that new version of Revit on our machine and we're good to go. Okay, so that's the first aspect. Design collaboration is the settings uh, of, well, BIM 360 design, design collaboration. This is where we're going to specify actually the different teams that are going to work together. And for now, I'm not really going to do anything with it. Um, maybe the only thing that i'll be doing is at just the one team the team i'm working for the team that's actually going to upload to the cloud and again we'll, we'll talk about how to share models later on first first things first how do we set up so that me myself i can upload data into the cloud so uh, actually as i mentioned we could do it through docs and um and that cloud interface of Revit, uh, but I'm already uh, setting up to collaborate in the future. So I will be adding a team here. So again, this is only needed when we're going to collaborate with other teams from a design point of view. Okay. So if we've got a building owner and we want to share information with him, we can do that through Revit. Just upload a Revit file standalone into the cloud and through BIM 360 Docs with the viewer that. Um, uh, building owner or whoever you want to give access to you can have a look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to add team here. We're going to do this uh, like so project files. And let's say this is going to be architecture role. There we go. Add this. And you'll see it says the default location for newly added teams is project files. Uh, we could actually set up uh, different folders. I'll talk about that later on, but I'm just going to go with the basics here. How do we quickly set up for BIM 360 Docs and Design? So I'm going to go Add, and that first team is going to be created. So let's just give this a second. Once this is done, let's now go into BIM 360 Docs and let's see what happened there. So I'm just going to switch here tabs document management uh, so this is the basis of everything this is the cloud storage if you will the data management system that we as Autodesk provide on which all of the BIM 360 next gen functionality is built so not just BIM 360 design but also coordinate build etc etc um, okay so usually when you just start off with BIM 360 docs you'll get this plans and project files and I'm not going to spend too much time on plans I do want to focus here on project files and as a designer that's really what you should be looking at so forget plans for now do not use plans just go for project files and store your data in there we can talk about uh plans later on uh but let's just uh let's just focus on project files here okay so normally this is um this is an empty uh file uh, sorry an empty environment project files but because we've uh because we've um created this team which is called architectural i'm gonna have uh, this architectural folder uh, automatically created for me and i've got this shared folder automatically created for me with architectural inside okay we'll talk about that later on once we uh, talk about uh, packages and how we can share data between different users okay so that's it that was all that uh, that was that there's to it. Uh, we set up through manage.autodesk.com. We define the entitlement for Revit. We define the entitlement for design. Uh, then we go into uh, the BIM 360 environment. We specify a project and we add a team to BIM 360 design. That's it. And thank you for watching.